my name is Al Williams. Uh, we're going to have a look in this video how to remove duplicate rows using Tableau Prep. So let's have a look at this spreadsheet. Uh, this spreadsheet has around 145 rows of data, so pretty basic. What I did is I copied the first row um, to the second row. So I, this is the only duplicate in this data set. So every field that we see here is identical. And typically when you're working with a source file you're not going to have this but maybe this is a result of a join you've performed and you want to get rid of the duplicate rows so what I want to have at the end of this process is one row that's got these details and not two so that's what we're going to work on here okay so I brought the uh, spreadsheet that we just looked at into Tableau Prep this one called duplicate example first thing I'm going to do is add a, uh, a clean step this will allow us to see all the uh, all the fields that we have. Okay, before I do anything else, I want to I want to have a look at those those rows here. So I'm going to put a filter on sales amount, uh, select values. I'm going to just put in the total amount uh, for that particular line. Enter. And now, if I have a look at the bottom of the screen here, there's three rows showing because there happens to be another order where the uh, sales amount is. 12,149, but I do see those two rows at the very top. Uh, what I want to have is just one row for this um, sales order number, SO43661. So that's the goal here. We're going to add another step now, or an aggregate step. So typically this function is used to um, aggregate um, the measures based on dimension fields. So the way you, know, you might typically use it is take all of your um, dimensions move them into the grouped fields. Let me just add all of them. It's too bad they're not all together. This takes a minute. And then you might want to aggregate on the sales amount and the order quantity and the extended amount. That's a typical way that you use the aggregation function in Tableau Prep, but if I want to get rid of duplicates, there's a different way to do that. So I'm going to remove this step again. I'm going to add a new aggregate step from scratch. Now what I'm going to do is take all of these fields, with the exception of the built-in number of rows um, field, I'm going to drag that into group fields. So now I've got all of my fields that I'm grouping with. Let's add another clean step. And let's have a search for that uh, extended amount that we were looking at before, or the uh, sales amount, sorry. So I'm going to go into filter. Selected values, I'm going to paste that amount in again. Now let's have a look at the output. So now I'm just seeing one row for this particular order number that was that we were looking at. It hasn't aggregated the, the measures. It's still the same amount that was in the spreadsheet, but instead of two rows for this order number, uh, I'm only seeing one. If I had an output step now, and let's say I want it save this as a comma separated value okay so I'm saving it to a file named duplicate removed as a CSV file on my desktop so I'm just going to run this flow it's going to create that CSV file which I already have on my desktop so I'm going to replace that okay it's created it So this is a CSV file that was output from the flow. I just want to put a filter on the sales amount here and put in that same amount that we're looking for for the total and say OK. So I'm seeing uh, two rows, again, two because there was two that had that total amount of 12,149, but only one row for the sales order number. And um, this is exactly what, uh, what I wanted, was just one row for this instead of two. So I have been able to filter out the two rows that we originally saw in the original, two in the original, and um, only one for this order number and person in the duplicates removed file that was created by Tableau Prep. So I hope uh, if you have to remove some duplicates from your data, you can take advantage of this method. Thanks for watching.